Nobody needs to bring up my father again. I want to hear it again. He's not going to be there. My brother's working for some another, another company. He's not going to be there. The only thing you're going to see at WrestleMania is me. He says, let's talk about what April 3rd is going to mean to you. You're going to wake up. You're going to remember what it's like to lose. You're not going to have your titles. And when, that's ha- when that happens, here's what else is going to happen. Jay's going to leave you. Then Jimmy's going to leave you. Leave you. You're going to have no Usos. Solo's going to leave you, too. And then Paul's just going to become an advocate, and you're going to be a man without a family, a Roman with no more reigns, a chief without a tribe. And so Roman just drops a mic. He starts walking out of the ring. Solo and Cody have a big stare down. Solo starts to leave, and Cody says, I knew you weren't going to be ready for this. And so Solo takes off his towel. He goes after Cody. He gets booted. Roman jumps up on the apron. He tells him to get out of the ring. The fans are chanting, you're not ready. And uh, that's how the show ends. And I will say this. I will say this from watching the Friday show and from watching this segment here. It is clear. I don't know. You know, I presume Cody's going to win, but it's WrestleMania. Anything can happen. But one thing that is clear from watching these two shows is they have a post-mania plan. They have a year of post-mania plans. Yeah, this is not something where, you know, we're going to do mania, and then the creative team and Hunter and Vince or whoever's going to wake up April 3rd and go, well, what the fuck do we do now? They've got a plan, and they've been planting a lot of seeds into this plan over the last couple of days. They've got two more weeks, and... You know, this is not going to be that normal mania. I shouldn't say normal mania, but, you know, many manias you've watched the, the WrestleMania main event, and then it's like they got that lull. They got they just got to start over again. They've got a continuation of all of this. It's going to well, go. They, they, you're, you're supposed to. You're supposed to. But there's a lot of things you're supposed to do in wrestling that people don't do. Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of times, too, though, a lot of times, too, when it comes to WrestleMania, Vince, when he had it, would do things that he thought – the fans wanted but he didn't really want and then the period until building up to SummerSlam was kind of like okay I did what the fans want they were wrong and now I'm going to start you know I got to go with this until I squash the guy the fans like and then we can go back to doing business by the end of this I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived he's low key at first like ah, bah, bah, bah. but he keeps going bah, 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 bah. He claps. Yeah, I got a headlock. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.